Good morning. Welcome to our Wednesday morning devotion. Today being the first Wednesday of the month, as usual, we spend this time in prayer. And so today I read from Psalm 149 as we begin our time of prayer. Praise the Lord. Sing a new song to the Lord. Praise him in the assembly of his faithful people. Be glad, Israel, because of your creator. Rejoice, people of Zion, because of your king. Praise his name with dancing. Play drums and harps in praises of him. The Lord takes pleasure in his people. He honors the humble with victory. Let God's people rejoice in their triumph and sing joyfully in all night long. Let them shout aloud as they praise God with their sharp sword in their hands to defeat the nations and to punish the peoples, to bind their kings in chains, their leaders in chains of iron, to punish the nations as God has commanded. This is the victory of God's people. Praise the Lord. Let us begin our opening prayer of giving thanks to the Lord. Holy God, who calls us your people into one beloved community, who teaches us the way of peace through life together, who fills us with visions of your eternal reign. As we now celebrate this week, the communion of saints, pour onto our hearts the power of Christ, who lives and reigns with us. As we adore you, O Lord, for you are great and an awesome God, through your Son, Jesus Christ. As people of God, we are not far from sin, but God's grace washes us away and makes us clean, whiter than snow, so that we can continue to rejoice in God's amazing love for us. And so let us trust in the promises of God's grace, confess our sins to God. God of covenant who calls us to reconcile, you made us members of the very body of Christ. Yet sometimes we are not in your way that you want us to be. We are separated with divisions, neglecting our neighbors. Forgive us and teach us to nurture the unity and peace. Lord, we give you thanks that your great compassion through your son, Jesus Christ, has redeemed us and cleansed us from our sins, giving, forgiving us, and so we give you thanks. Now we pray for the needs of our lives, of our world, and our community. And so we pray for the church and the world around us. God of grace, in our daily lives, we lift ourselves to you. Draw us to yourself, healing us from our sickness, from the body, from the mind. Especially the season where a lot of children are sick from the flu, from the COVID and other respiratory problems. We pray for your healing for them and the caregivers at the hospital, including parents of young children. We also pray for those who are going through chemotherapy treatment and others who are recovering from surgery this week. May they receive their full healing through your hand 
and through the blessings of Jesus Christ. We pray for the elderly in the care facilities and their caregivers. We pray for first responders. We pray for police officers and all who are in uniform services, protecting our nations and providing peace in other parts of the world. For those who are grieving, we ask for your comfort to them. For family and friends who are far and near. For the community of faith. For our session leaders. For the pastor nominating committee and the candidate they are preparing to call to be the installed pastor here at this church. We thank you for the discernment of the Holy Spirit in the work that the PNC have been working on. We pray for the homeless. As the weather changes, O oh Lord, there are many who do not have a roof over their head. We pray that they may find a place of warmth during this time. Lord, we pray for our representatives and those who lead and guide our nations, our city, and our states. We pray for your wisdom for them. And now, Lord, we come before you lifting ourselves up to you. God of many wonders, into your hands we have brought our needs before you. You command all of whom that we have prayed and we trust that these and for all who care for our, us, lifting before you the farmers who mix the crops and now continue to harvest. For those who are on the road, for those who lead and for those who listen, for those who teach and for those who learn. And so as we sing your praise, assemble us together as your people of faith through your son Jesus Christ who taught us to pray saying, Our Father in heaven, hello be your name, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us as our sins as you forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And so may the blessings of the Lord Jesus Christ be with us now and forevermore. Amen. So next week, we will continue our working through the book of Revelations. Have a blessed day.